<laughs> Hello, pandas. It happened. And it didn't take very long either. You remember that big work site from not that long ago? Well, we're going back because apparently there is a heap of stuff waiting for us. And it's a little bit larger than the first one. I'm also really excited to see how far they've gotten. Well, they've definitely been busy. Looks like they got the roof on. It's a little bit chilly. Not bad, though. So, this, which looks like a decent pile. We're going to have to get to chopping. And there's a few other bits and pieces. But then also, we get to take this. That's the part I'm excited about. So, this is going to take a minute to load. <laughs> yeah. That's looking all right. Got some weight this time. Proper squat. I sure hope I didn't puncture a tire. Fingers crossed there because I did not sweep this pad. But we'll burn that bridge when we come to it. Right now, I think we gotta grab the saw for that stuff. First up, we we'll clear out all the little bits. And now comes the part that starts fun, but stops being fun pretty quickly. That's one. Yeah, we're going to be here for a bit. Now some straps and we should be good to go. That definitely looks like a thousand pounds to me. There's no goodie bits here today. They definitely have like a half a million dollars worth of um, refrigeration and copper filled stuff, but that's not for us. This, I'm pretty happy with this. We should probably go see what it's worth though. The scale put us at 5,900 pounds. I think this one's gonna be a good one. Noise. Now that rebar, that's the part I'm excited about because that goes in as the better stuff. Whew. I think this is gonna be a little exhausting though, but it's not that hard.
Okay. All right. 1,100 pounds in rebar. That's prepared steel. And 470 pounds of the lighter stuff, the shred. We made $164. Cool. Now, I don't want this video to be a really short one, so I kind of think we should go exploring, see if we can find anything cool. There's still light out. Let's have a look. That kind of looks like it's probably scrap. Ooh. What have we here? Regular chips. Lightly salted chips. That just looks like trash. Bunch of eggs. Greek yogurt. Banana. Sure. I'll take some yogurts. Probably not going to take the chicken or the uh, salad. What do we have here? whole bunch of beans. Huh. Gonna skip on the eggs. But those yogurts look pretty great. I think I might have just found a good dumpster. Those are those are perfect for juicing. <laughs> cool. What about this one? Used ink. Yeah, nah. Well, this looks kind of cool. Actually, yeah, we've been here before. I'm surprised this is still here. This one's definitely well picked through. <clears throat> no. Oh. Good old apartment. Can't really grab that because uh, I'm not that strong. Wonder about those rods though. I'm just not sure they're trash. Okay. I've got to know more about that. This thing's kind of cool. It's solid wood, but it doesn't have any uh, drawers. However, oh my god. Look at this thing. Look at this amazing couch. Somebody died at purple. It wasn't like that before, I guarantee it. But it still looks pretty amazing. The part that's really got my attention, though... <laughs> those claw feet. Oh, I was hoping they were brass. That'd be pretty... pretty incredible if they were. Ah, but there's no saving this couch. Well, everything can be saved, but... We're not about to save it. Look, you flip the, co flip the cushion over and it's good to go. Yeah, my, uh, my heart was racing thinking those could be brass claw feet, but they're not, so. And what's all that? A lonely corner piece of a sectional. It does come with a cushion. It's actually kind of a cool looking piece. But over here we have 
a garage door opener. Sure. It's got a motor. Hello. What have we got here? Interesting. Well, there's at least a little bit of metal. Tiny bit of copper. And whatever this is. Feels a little too heavy to be aluminum. The end bit, eh, maybe aluminum. I'm not sure about those. Whenever I get the smaller ones, I bring them in as aluminum, but uh, I'm just not sure. Yep. That's a fancy looking chair. That's a film reel. That's an honest to goodness reel of film, which has been intentionally destroyed. I know it's pointless <laughs> and not worth anything, but we're gonna bring it anyway. Because I love trash and I have no self-control. Dirty stainless. We'll take it. But where is this coming from? That feels like kitty litter. What's that? What is that? Seriously, what is that? Triple 16 gauge. Okay, good. It's strangely moldy. his wire so we'll take it as well as these conduit poles which Not sure where are my little magnets living these days. No, 
one's quite heavy. All right, chop, chop. Probably good enough. How about these? Definitely steel. All right. Hello. What's all this then? That's a good piece of steel. very much. Don't know what to make of that, but it could be steel. Could be brass. Oh, I see a bit more over there. clean chunk. That's some truly delightful trash. Oh. Wasn't expecting to find any more, but there it is. Yo. I see, I see. It's stuck on a... See, this is what those cable cutters are great for, but I left them at home. Blessings. No dumping. Don't you worry, we're doing the exact opposite. Hmm. I see a can. A bag of recyclables. Oh my. gift can in the mouth.
Well, there's a pretty killer little run there, if I do say so myself. We got a little bit of everything. Bunch of steel, you know, good weight, good density, and it's always simple, so I love that part about it. A little bit of aluminum, a little bit of stainless steel. A box full of cans and bags. Sweet. And then a bunch of copper. Not just copper wire, but like clean copper and copper tubes. <laughs> this thing, which is useless, but it's cool. And then those yogurts, which uh, of course they're expired. Of course they're expired. Actually, they're not. Um, they got a few days still, but it doesn't make any difference because these things, like, they're edible well after they expire. And uh, like four bucks each. I really like yogurt. Never tried the banana flavor. Guess we're going to find out. I'll let you know if they're any good. Ah, so much appreciation for you guys for coming around here. This is always fun because you're here. So I'll see you on the next one. Leave it better than you found it. Keep doing the thing.